want to be too candid a, a, about it, but I, I think he took a bad job. <laughs> and I had an opportunity when Norv Turner was going there right after my time at AM. I had a chance to go with Norv out there. And after talking with uh, other coaches that I knew well and respected, uh, to the man, all of them advised me not to do that. You don't need to get into that situation. I would say to Dennis, you made a bad decision taking that job. It was obvious uh, that he was going to get a head job. He was on track to get one. And I just think he erred in taking that job. You know, if you're going to get your one shot and uh, make sure it's with a good one where you've got a chance and, and where you've got some control over what's going on on the field and what's going on in the scouting and all those different things. There's an organizational factor that's a huge factor in teams winning. And I could name some other teams around the league right now that I, I won't. I'm just saying organizations have a whole lot to do with coaches being successful. And if you get into an organization where a lot of that's not in place, I don't care how well the coach coaches. No one is not going to be coaching the right guys. Uh, you can look around at some league, some teams in the league, and look at the guy, look at their roster, look at the draft picks, look at who they have. He says, it's no wonder. It's no wonder the coach uh, doesn't win there. And they go through coach after coach after coach and still don't win. Well, it's not all those coaches aren't bad guys. They didn't all get dumb when they got to those organizations. There are factors beyond the coach. I think at the time that Dennis put himself into a situation where guy after guy after guy has had a hard time in that situation being successful. So I don't think it, at all it's a reflection on Dennis. Other than he was anxious to be a head coach, and I, I would have advised him to wait and just wait till another job uh, comes along.